Let's take a look at some of these new things here. Um, Open Mic Eagles new album that just came out, Dark Comedy. Uh, Long being one of my favorite rappers pretty much since he started putting out stuff. I uh, can't go wrong with one of Mike's albums, so please do check it out. This is his first release on um, Mellow Music Group, okay. his Odyssey's label. He's and been on a few different labels to date, hasn't he? Yeah, yes, he has. You know, he bounces around back and forth and um, got some good people on it. Like, he's got some beats from Jeremiah J and DiBiase and Bus Driver. La -di da really uh, great, you know, exactly what you expect from Mike Eagle. It's got the soft-spoken sort of sing-songy delivery, but with really, really clever lyrics yeah. and interesting topics and stuff like that. So it's definitely a, he's in his own lane, you know, he's completely unique in the world of hip-hop, so I recommend checking him out. Uh, this one's brand new, just dropped today. Uh, Oregon? New Sapient album from Oregon, yeah. Eaters Volume 2, Light Tiger. Check out this cover, it's just... The tiger is just destroying these guys here. Um, I think he's frying a frying an eagle on the back of here. <laughs> um, yeah, this is part of his latest from Sapiens, who, as you know, last year his Slump album, which in my opinion is still his masterpiece, like magnum opus album, has just amazed me. It was definitely one of my favorites. Uh, this is good stuff. Definitely listen to it. It's um, kind of a combination of like, to say it's about a third instrumental, a third rap song, and a third pop song. So sort of like combining different elements of it, but uh, man, this guy's beats are so good. I mean, it's like production just keeps getting better and better in my opinion, so you should definitely check out his uh, production styles there. We got some uh, May Day and MERS here. MERS Day, which I haven't listened to yet. It is an interesting to me that he's on um, Strange Music now, which is Tech Nine's record label. So Tech Nine's starting to get the MERS stuff out there. Um, I know he did a show out here just recently. I hope it went well for him. So May Day from Miami? Yeah, I okay. think they're from Miami, that's right. They're sort of like a live kind of hip-hop ensemble, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this one's not quite new, but I guess I mentioned the new Sage album here, just because I saw him last night play at The Independent. So. How was that show? It's pretty good. Um, it's interesting for me to listen to Sage Francis. It's a, like a very different experience. I mean, that's the guy that I, I idolized in college, you know, because it's just like my hero in college, uh, quote all of his lines back and forth. And these days I don't quite have that level of appreciation for him. Um, is it that he's changed or you've changed? I think that I've changed a little bit. But I will say that this album of his is his best album that he's put out in, since 2003 or so. Um, it's also his first independently released album on uh, Strange Famous Music, his own record label. He's out of his contract with Epitaph. So he had some pretty great creative freedom with his choice of producers. He got, you know, Buck 65 and Cecil Otter of Doomtree and Alias, a bunch of cool people to produce on that. So that's cool. Um, this is one that I've been slanging over here, kind of another elit, uh, undiscovered gem, you could say. This album by Intuition and Equilibrium. Let me guess, West Coast? Equilibrium, West Coast, LA styles here. Um, this kind of reminded me, if you like um, Below the Heavens by Blue and Exile, I think you'll like this album a lot. Equilibrium really shows and proves as a producer on it. He's got this sort of choppy, like, soul sample thing that Exile does a lot. And then, you know, Intuition's a really smooth MC, so he's just sort of, like, rolling over it. And it's very mellow, upbeat, kind of uplifting. There are a couple dark songs on it. A great summer album, too. It's nice to just vibe out to in your car. And it's very well mastered and well produced and just, you know, interesting. So, when checking that. Um, so, on the new tip, I guess I should mention this clipping group. Interesting one here. All of my metal and noise people love these guys. They tell me all about them. Um, this is definitely some noise rap stuff from also from the less left coast. Got some interesting people on here like King T and Gangsta Boo and Gucci of the Bay Area too, making some guest appearances on it. But it's on Sub Pop Records, which is you know Shabazz Palace. I was going to say Satisfaction yeah. and those guys. So it'd be worth peeping that too. Um, take a look at some wax, I guess perhaps. Okay. So we got this blue and knots also available on CD here. Uh, Gods in the Spirit. Blue's been putting out a group of projects recently. Exactly, actually. an awful lot. Um, yeah. And uh, the, the vinyl for his um, was it his other one, Good to Be Home or whatever, that's that's coming out soon too, I know. Um, we got some Feral Mosh Wax here. Post Traumatic Stress Disorder, finally available on vinyl. Uh, this one is brand new. Just got this in. Uh, the Lizzo, the album of Lizzo and Laserbeak now issued on vinyl. Uh, very uh, clubby, sort of upbeat, high energy album. So cool, probably cool to bump on wax. 
And um, that's the instrumentals one, is it? Yeah, Mad Lib instrumentals for Pinata. We have that on CD over there too, actually. And people are, are uh, but are, people are, really want to skip this on vinyl, though. Yeah. That's what they're they're aiming for for this these Mad Lib titles, you know. Yeah. Um, so I should definitely mention this. I only got this AWOL one in Gelrock album in on vinyl. I mentioned this to you. Yeah, this is an Albain cover actually. She's one of my favorite uh, collage artists, sort of out of France. Um, but yeah, this is great shapeshifter stuff. Really strange, avant garde, very limited edition, uh, clear vinyl. You know, so you get a little wax. And uh, finally, one more from the shapeshifters over here. I don't know if we touched upon Radio Inactive's latest opus here. Hip hop helmet. <laughs> uh, you, got, you gotta love how Radio Inactive always uses pictures of himself as a kid on his covers, of like a He Man lunchbox. For goodness. And this album is um, it's hilarious too. Uh, he just keeps rapping about food over and over and over again for some reason. And you're wondering why that's not really like a motif or like a theme to the album, but he keeps dropping these food references that crack me up a lot. And he's got great styles. It's very lo fi sort of production, you know. And uh, But you know, he's done albums with Bus Driver and Dateless. And all those guys so. right good, good man so so go. that's it yeah okay that thank you so much Elit at Amoeba Music Berkeley